It's May 27, 2023, about 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I'm aboard my 1972-3 Allied Princess 36 Sequester. Came on board the boat today to do a few chores. Commissioned the water system and filled the water tank, which was kind of a pain because all of the uh, hose bibs in the area were connected to other boats. So uh, I had to lug water six gallons at a time in a uh, jerry can, which I did have, which is good. But uh, it took uh, 30 gallons to fill the tank. Uh, commissioned the the uh, water system, which basically is just flushing all the uh, uh, non-toxic pink antifreeze out of it. And there wasn't much in there. And now tank is full and she's ready to go. And I've also trimmed out the uh, mizzen mast uh, shrouds so that the mizzen is uh, standing up straight and everything is tight. So the boat is ready to go in that respect. Now, the only things that remain to do are to put the mizzen on and the Genoa. I may put the mizzen on this afternoon. It's not very windy and it would be a good day to do it. The only issue is my right leg. And I'm going to do a separate video on that. Uh, so that's where we are right now aboard uh, Sequester. The boat is ready to go for the 2023 season, with the exception of putting the sails on. So, just do a quick pan around in here. Right now, I'm sitting at the aft port side of the uh, table in the saloon. There's the settee on the other side. The Dickinson propane heater. There's the galley. I still have a few jugs of water and antifreeze sitting in there. Back here is our quarter berth, which we use for storage. And a little uh, chart table and cabinet and the uh, electrical panel. And you're back to me. Forward, up there, we have a, a little passageway. Uh, past those uh, drawers that goes into the V-berth where the uh, uh, sink is located. And uh, right on the other side of this bulkhead here is the head. And everything is fully commissioned right now. It's really hot today. I think it's over 70 degrees. I'm a little sweaty. But uh, that's not so bad. So that's it for Sequester. Since we put the boat in the water on Tuesday, I've been over here a couple of times. Uh, and when, on those trips, I've, uh, you know, I trimmed out the rigging on the main mast and got it tuned up properly. And uh, a few other little things like that. Brought the uh, mizzen sail on. I don't have the Genoa on board yet. It's kind of bulky and I, I'm going to be waiting for a good uh, day to put it up when there's basically no wind. And right, and uh, it's, I'd have to uh, put it down below if I was, if I brought it aboard. And I really don't want to wrestle it around any more than I have to uh, because of the limitations of my knee. And what else did I do? Well, I put the mizzen boom on and I rigged the triadic stay, which is a spectra or dyneema uh, stay that goes from the top of the mainmast to the top of the mizzen mast. And I put it through a turning block at the top of the mizzen and bring it down and tie it off on a cleat. It's just 530 seconds dyneema, which... Uh, it's plenty strong for that. I think it has a braking strength of, you know, 4,000 pounds or something like that. So, and almost no stretch. So that's a very good synthetic uh, material to use for that. And it's easy to rig. If I had an actual wire up there, uh, I, they'd, we'd have to send a rigger up the mast to connect it. And that gets expensive. It only takes a few minutes to uh, pull it up pull the synthetic line up through the turning block up on top of the mizzen mast. It's attached uh, with a splice to the top of the main mast. 
And that's pretty much all that we've done. The boat came through the winter really well. Everything is nice and clean. Uh, no mildew to speak of. Even the dishes that we left on board are still clean. So it was a good winter. It must have been very dry in the shed and everything came out just fine. So we'll be putting heading out fairly soon, as soon as I get the sails on, to uh, go for the first sail of the season. The biggest limitation I've got with that right now is my new knee. The knee itself is fine, no problems with bending it or straightening it or anything like that. The issue is the muscles around it that were pretty badly compromised during the surgery and are taking their time recovering fully. For example, on Tuesday when we launched the boat, I was on the boat uh, for about four hours altogether, and my leg was a noodle after that. I really overstressed it and it was pretty sore. Then I came back on Wednesday and did the uh, rigging of the mizzen mast and uh, went home and that really tired the leg out again. And then Thursday I drove into Ellsworth in my wife's car to go to a doctor's appointment and to take the car in for service and its annual inspection. Now my wife's car, just because of the angles and everything for getting in and out of it and how I sit is really hard on my right leg. So uh, Thursday night, uh, we did come over the boat for our first uh, glass of wine of the season, which was very pleasant. But by the time we got home, uh, my leg was uh, really, really tired and sore. So uh, kind of took yesterday off and then back today. And I'm not doing much today. Just basically filling the water tank. And if I'm really am, and I tuned the uh, mizzen uh, rigging, and if I am really, really ambitious uh, in a few minutes, I will put the mizzen sail on. That depends on just how windy it is. It's not been too bad. Shouldn't I don't think it would be horrible, but every now and then we get a gust of wind, which uh, would make it more difficult. So we'll see. It's ready to go on. I just have to find a good no wind condition to do it. And I think, eh, I think I'm probably not going to do it today just to give my leg a little bit more time to recover. And the first time we take the boat out, I am going to have to have somebody on the dock to help us get off the dock and then somebody there to help us get back onto the dock uh, because I simply cannot get on and off the boat very quickly right now. And that is uh, going to be an issue until uh, the muscles in my leg improve a little and I can move around more quickly. But for right now, I think we're going to have to have help, which is going to limit, uh, you know, when we can go out. Because uh, usually the uh, dock crew disappear by about 5 o'clock, maybe 5.30. And so that means you can't go out for an evening sail if you need help getting back onto the dock. So anyway, that's where we are with uh, my Allied Princess 36 Sequester. Just... Uh, perhaps uh, one or two days, depending on wind, from being ready to take the boat out for the first time of the 2023 20, season.